Welcome beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I am Chef B, make sure you are subscribed down below. Y'all, we're about to style this unit from myfirstwig.com and I just wanna show you guys what I got in my package. So I got this little pouch with clips and combs you can get on the website. Now let's get straight into this wig. So this is what the wig is looking like straight out of the package without washing or anything like that. So this wig came pre-plucked. The knots are already bleached for you. Like look how effortless that lace was. This is this is a Swiss lace. It is a 13 by six inch wig. And this here is a brown highlight unit and I'm absolutely loving the bob. So I got this in 12 inches and it is yakky texture. So I wanted to go for that silk press type of natural hair look with the highlight. If y'all didn't realize, even with my last wig, we're doing bobs, okay? It's hot outside and the bobs will save the day. So I just wanted to clean up the parting on this unit. I didn't have to do much, but I still needed to customize the unit in terms of, you know, flat ironing and making sure that that parting is flat. Like we need that to be effortless. We need that lace to be melted. So I'm going to go in with my handy dandy hot comb. Y'all know I can't do a unit without a hot comb. Like the hot comb will make your wig look super professional and it will give that vroom 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 that your unit needs. Need. So I went in first with some wax stick for the hair and then I used the hot comb to make sure that the hair is nice and flat Especially the edges and the parting like we need that to be flat. We can't do no lumpy wigs over here Okay, I already got a pea size head. I need it to be look how flat she is like come on now So I just did a little bit of light flat ironing in the hair just to get that blunt bob bobbing like look at her like Nicki Minaj bob like girl what so if you know me or if you don't know now, you know I'm a lazy girl like we do lazy girl methods over here I'm not with the ball cap method I'm not with that extra work okay I like it simple keep it simple keep it easy effortless I like to take my wigs off at night therefore I don't use harsh products on my edges like I ain't got time for all of that okay sometimes it, it will take practice with wigs to do that everyday life and trust me it's quick once you get the hang of it so i'm just gonna slick my hair back with some edge control put on my wig cap and then i'm gonna put on the wig so i forgot to mention that this wig came with a band on the inside to make that effortless snug look so if you want to wear this wig glueless you can do that as long as the band is fitting you get it as tight as you need it to and then the wig will be sitting like look at her she is she is sitting beautifully but you know like i'm fearful of these streets and these winds so i'm gonna make sure that she's melted instead of just sitting there like if i wanted to yeah but um i need that so we're gonna start with the front part so i just showed you guys like where i'm gonna start so that's how i melt like i instead of going straight across i'm just gonna do the middle first just to make sure that is nice and flat and i'm satisfied so i go in with the ebin spray and i got this at my local beauty supply store you can get it on amazon i'm gonna try to find it on amazon and see if i could put it in my amazon store so you can purchase for yourself so once i spray it under the lace as opposed to on the lace itself i'm gonna bring it forward and go in with my um, blow dryer to just melt that so just gonna keep the blow dryer on there on warm so it's not gonna be hot especially since we're gonna be using it so close to our face and we need it like directly on so put that on warm or cool but you just don't, don't want to make it hot you know you don't want to do all of that so I'm gonna go in with this elastic band that I also got at a beauty supply store. You can get it on the website and on Amazon. Like basically these things are like really popular now. And this is basically to help to melt that lace. So we're doing the tension method to melt our lace. So I'm just gonna go in back in the hair, flatten it, make sure that everything is nice and neat. I'm gonna go back in with my um, wax stick for the flyaways just to make sure that everything is how I like it. So now to cut off our excess lace, don't be afraid or get frightened when you see the lace is a little bit lifted because we didn't spray it all around. We just wanted to make sure that everything is aligned to, um, you know, your natural hair lining. Like a lot of times, a lot of wigs come with this standard hairline, especially with that widow's peak look. Not all of us have widow's peak or a square hairlining, so don't be afraid to cut the lace but carefully cut the lace to match your natural hairlining and also make sure that it's not too forward on your head because it's going to look weird. So you want to make sure that you have that, that space that you usually have 
um, with your forehead so that it doesn't actually change your features because when it changes your features that's when it looks funny looking you feel me so um, i'm just trying to make sure that everything is aligned then I'm gonna go in with the spray on top of my fingertips. So I'm not spraying it directly because at the end of the day, this is liquid. So the ladies won't know the difference between, uh, you know, like liquid as in water and liquid as in the spray that's actually tacking it down. So I'm just dabbing it on my finger as opposed to spraying it directly on there just to help to melt those parts that are lifted, especially the sides with the sideburns and all of that. So we're gonna go back in with our band to melt that baby in. Like this is the final melt girl, like. She's going to be, she's going to be looking like she's coming straight out of my forehead. Like, this is, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, just trying to see how everything is looking. So, I left that on while I changed my outfit. So, I didn't use a blow dryer on it. Just, just as is. So, I'm going to go in with some translucent powder. Or you can use a foundation powder if you have. And just put that on the lining just to hide the lace. And... That is basically it. And as you guys saw, I didn't use any soup to do dupe. Like, this is new for me. I didn't do any soups. Like, I'm doing this for y'all to show y'all how it looks in its natural state without the extra ish. And the bob is bobbing. Okay, she's giving Nicki Minaj bob. She's moving. Stiff weird. Like, she's doing the do. Let me know what you guys think about this unit. All the details will be down in the description box down below. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Go on, big up in a self. Bye, guys.